Hello my nectarines, Nono here and I'm back with another video. Today we are talking all things nail polish and I'm so excited because I have been a huge nail polish fan for years. I don't think you guys know this about me. <laughs> but recently I've had the opportunity to work with Essie over on my TikTok and this afforded me the opportunity to own some of their polishes. This is my tiny collection and I am obsessed with the quality of these polishes you guys and I cannot wait to share them a little bit with you and um yeah i just love them i just love them they work so well but for today i wanted to explore this technique i keep seeing over on my tiktok instagram facebook you name it every time i'm on my socials i always spot talita cardozo specifically and this interesting technique where she kind of applies the you know the nail polish roughly and then she releases it from the side walls when she does that she then cleans the you know that excess off with this tool that she has and then it just looks so nice i've always wanted to try this technique so i thought today we gotta try this you guys like i'm like am i gonna be able to do this like this looks so interesting and i always find it so therapeutic to watch her clean it just looks so crisp it looks like a, a gel manicure look how stunning so let's get into it so for the actual scraping and the you know cotton wrapping i've saved these cuticle pushes i have this really sharp plastic one which is going to be great for scraping around the side walls and the cuticle area and then i have this spare wooden ones that i'm going to use to clean around my cuticle area you're also going to need some cotton wool or cotton pads and then some lint-free pads and then acetone or nail polish remover this is the current state of my natural nails. They're a little bit banged up, you guys, but I'm really trying to, you know, uh, bring them back to life. So I soaked off the gel that I had, pushed back the cuticles, trimmed, prepped the natural nail plate. I just had a little bit of lotion on the nail plate, so I am just um, cleansing. That way, you know, the polish sits properly. Let's talk base coats. I have two options. The first one is the all-in-one base and top coat. And I love this. It's based for at-home users if you don't want to have too many bottles lying around. Two-in-one, awesome. And then we have the strong start base coat. This one's my favorite because I get great retention every time that I use this one. So we're going to be going in with this one today. We're starting off with a very thin layer of base coat on my natural nail plate. I noticed that she starts doing the technique with the base coat as well. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying my best not to drench my side walls and cuticle area. But this just feels so foreign to me because like I've kind of programmed my brain to not touch my skin. You know, and especially with gel polishes because I use gel polishes a lot. So this was like, ugh, this was hard for me to do. <laughs> And now we are starting with that releasing of the product from the sidewalls and the cuticle area. So there's a little bit of a gap there. And yeah, so far so good. I'm like, okay, I've got this. Okay, it's doing what it needs to do. <laughs> Out of all the nail polish bottles I have, this one is my favorite, you guys. This is the shade Bordeaux by SC, and I love this shade. If you want it to be a little bit more on the red side, you can go in with one light coat, and it covers very well. But if you want a more rich wine red, you can go in with two or more coats, and I love it. Now, you'll notice I am doing the technique again, touching my skin, and uh, oh, so hard for me to do this. But yes, we push through because I really want it to see if this will work is it gonna cut time is it gonna be you know nice and crisp when i'm done i was just so excited to see if i can replicate this technique <laughs> just like talita does and uh yeah i kind of feel like i was messier than i should have been but yes like i tried you guys i tried So I waited a few minutes uh, for the nail polish to slightly get a little bit dry or tacky and then I start scraping uh, the sides or basically releasing the nail polish from uh, my side walls and my cuticle area but I, 
I started like scraping off by accident the nail polish that's on the nail plate. Oh, guys, it was such a mess. It, this was annoying me because I was just not getting it to look right. So probably scraping immediately after you apply is better. But I feel like because it's runny, it's just getting more messier. So that's why I opted to wait a little bit more. But um, I pushed through. So we're going to go in with a second coat because I wanted a very whiny, dark, rich red for the set. So I decided to do the second coat of camera. It's pretty much the same step, you guys. This is how it's looking after two coats. And I'm starting with the scraping. I actually wanted to share some old pictures of my nail designs. Guys, I took these in 2015. And I was actually so surprised that I still had these. I've been a huge fan of nail polish. When I started my nail journey, I used to try and do all sorts of nail art using nail polishes. And it's through nail polish that I realized that I actually have a love for all things nail so yeah I, I really do love nail but if it wasn't for nail polish I wouldn't be here today <laughs> and we're gonna seal everything off with the gel setter top coat I really love this top coat it gives such a great shine and gel like look to your um, nail polish manicure I'm applying it also slightly on the skin and then we'll do the same technique where we release it one last time and then we're going to start the process where we clean but think about it you guys we have the base coat we have two coats of the nail polish and then we have the top coat all on my skin oh that's a lot because i didn't have cotton balls i had to rip apart my cotton pads and then i just rolled a tiny amount onto the stick drenched the stick with some acetone i felt like acetone works better than nail polish remover but if you have no polish remover you can use it as well i tried to use the same technique that she does so she places on the nail and then she kind of spins it around in her fingers and it removes the nail polish this is where it all went down you guys this is the wah, wah, wah part of the video because it was a mess okay the cotton little lens were in the nail polish i couldn't get into the tiny crevices i had to like keep changing the cotton i accidentally wiped off the nail polish on the nail oh horrible i clearly am not a pro at this and tadita makes this look way easier than it actually is you guys this was hard and please correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, but I think this technique is mostly popular in Brazil. But I've seen some uh, Cuban nail techs in her comments as well, claiming that they originated the technique. So I'm curious to hear what you guys think. But eventually, this is where I ended up. I gave up, you guys. I honestly, I failed. I failed. The nails look horrible. I think my downfall was the actual cleaning tool. I wish I had something very thin and long like she has so I could get in the crevices. But I still feel like even if I did, it wouldn't look as crisp and clean as hers because she's a pro. She probably does it every day and she knows exactly how to do it. So I decided to remove everything and this took forever um, <laughs> because yeah it was a lot of product and this is where we are i'm going to reapply the nail polish my way the way that i know how to do it that is foolproof and that is do not touch the sidewalk and it works every single time the nice thing about the brushes of the se nail polish is that they're nice and rounded so if you start by the cuticle area apply pressure they fan out beautifully and it allows you to drag the product down with like a seamless application and it only takes me three strokes one in the center one on each side and i am done you guys if i accidentally touch my skin i just grab my little cleanup brush with a little bit of acetone and uh, one other thing i like to do is just rounding off the cuticle area so they look nice and crisp and this just makes the manicure look like it's a gel manicure every single time it just looks perfect i didn't have to waste product i didn't have to have all that amount of polish sitting on my skin clean application every time this is how my nails look after two coats please look how stunning this color is you guys now the star of the show is the gel setter top coat if you could only buy one product from Essie 
this is it you guys this top coat gives the nail polish such a gel like finish smooths everything off oh it just looks delicious <laughs> it looks delicious and yummy now i'm using my honor roll cuticle oil also from essie this is like mango or apricot yes apricot scented and smells so good the applicator has like a metal ball it reminds me of like an eye serum so it's got a cooling effect while you're moisturizing and massaging the product in i mean they think of everything And this is our final look you guys i am obsessed can you tell it's no polish no you can't this is gel this is gel polish <laughs> you can literally go around telling people this is a gel manicure and they'll believe you because it looks so nice and you know what's interesting i did this manicure at night you guys waited for it to dry nicely and then i went to bed woke up the next morning then i went and took these pictures outside still looks absolutely flawless it dried perfectly look at how the sun is reflecting on there it looks like a gel manicure i'm gonna keep the set until the next video because i'm gonna show you guys how great the retention is we've reached the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know what you guys think in the comment section and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one Mwah! bye guys